Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and the viewer question regarding Windows 10 and also Windows 11's activation. So the question is about the change in hardware. And of course, the activation of Windows is done through a very simple thing. It's done through a, a mix of signatures from some of the hardware. So when you want to look at your activation in Windows, and we're going to go see here, activation settings, your activation in Windows, and it's going to tell you that Windows is activated, um, is done by checking out serial numbers of different parts of your hardware and also checking out the type of hardware you have. So all of that is mixed in and creates a activation um, profile if you want. Now that is then sent with the activation key to Microsoft servers. And this is why if you have the same machine, if you don't enter any keys and you install the same version of Windows, once it goes online to check out, it recognizes the profile and will recognize that your Windows is actually activated already and it's the same machine that's asking for activation again and you'll be granted activation in Windows. So that also means changes can maybe put you out of an activation phase and how, what is it that you could change and what is it that you know will trigger a problem with the activation of Windows. So small changes in general, um, adding, removing, and uh, changing the amount of memory, RAM memory, changing your hard drive from, a, say, a solid state to a solid state and you were on a standard hard drive, things like that, changing the Wi-Fi card, uh, Ethernet cards, uh, changing your GPU, your graphics processor. In general, one change like that will not trigger any changes in the activation. Windows will simply adjust itself that, well, no, it's pretty much the same machine, just this change and that's it. Where it gets more complicated is multiple things change at the same time. So if you've changed your hard drive, your graphics adapter, added RAM, um, it still might activate on that purpose because usually the things that you could change the easiest are the ones that will not trigger activation issues. But if you decide that you change your CPU, maybe for a faster one that does fit on your motherboard, uh, that will that could trigger an activation issue. Changing the motherboard, of course, nothing is the same. All the uh, serial numbers, even if it's the same motherboard um, model, so you switch or you swap your motherboard for another one that's exactly the same, you might think, well, it's going to activate. No, because the serial numbers of all the parts have changed. So these are all changes that could trigger activation issues. Now, you're asking me, is there a way? Can I do something about it? If you have activation problems with Windows after changing hardware, simply changing hardware, you have only still one PC activated with that Windows key, or you know it's the same Windows, it's just now it doesn't want to activate anymore. Uh, what I probably will say to you is call Microsoft activation line. They, in general, um, as a tech guy, all the years that I've been actually calling them to activate the systems manually, in general, it's not a problem. Um, you know, just I'll you know answer the question. They'll ask you if it's only one machine. Make sure you only have one machine with the same key, with the same, and they're gonna they're gonna activate it. They're gonna give you what in, you need to activate it, um, and it's gonna work. The problem is you might need to do that every time you actually have a reinstall of Windows, but at least it works, and you'll be activated again. And last but not least, and that was part of the question is if I don't activate. What happens? Well, you'll not be able to change certain settings in Windows, but Windows is still going to actually work. Actually, Windows 10 and Windows 11, if you don't activate it, you're not you're, you're still using it. You're going to have a watermark on the bottom right that's going to tell you it's not activated. 
and there are some personalization settings that you won't be able to change. But apart from that, it's still going to work, and it's still going to update, and it's still going to be okay. But you are technically illegal because the license agreement for Windows is that you activate it with a, f a real copy that's activated um, to use a PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.